When it's impractical to provide fall restraint, the worker's next line of protection is fall arrest, where the worker's fall is arrested by means of a body harness or safety net. There's many different types of fall arrest equipment, but they all have three elements in common. An anchorage point, a connecting means or lanyard, and a body holding device or harness. Working together, these three elements constitute a personal fall arrest system. Falling into a safety belt could cause serious internal injuries, and harnesses are the preferred choice. But not all body harnesses are equally effective. This test film shows how different harnesses react to the same weight through distance forces. It's important to wear the right harness properly fitted. The lanyard should be connected in line with the spine, where the shock of the fall can be distributed between the shoulders and the hips. Shock absorbing lanyards go a long way in cushioning the force of the fall, but they can lengthen the fall as well. Choose an anchor that will let you move enough to do your job. Check out the anchor point thoroughly before trusting your life to it. The anchor point must be strong enough to bear the forces of a fall and be free of any damage. Try to stay close to the anchor point. If you move too far away from your anchor and fall, you risk swinging into objects below. This is called a swing fall hazard. The further you move horizontally from the anchor point, the greater the swing fall hazard. Lifeline systems can be vertical or horizontal. They're designed to go beyond the length limitations of a lanyard, providing both mobility and protection. Vertical lifelines with rope grabs are particularly useful when you're involved in work at heights. The rope grab is designed to lock onto the lifeline when a fall occurs. Retractable lanyards and lifelines have a locking mechanism which activates when a fall occurs, like an automotive seatbelt. These devices are designed to arrest free fall in inches and eliminate the dangerous slack that can develop using fixed length lanyards. Safety nets are designed to provide passive fall protection under and around elevated work sites, such as bridge construction. The net is there to catch the worker after a fall. We use fall arrest systems to enable us to safely gain access to all the high points on our equipment in order to do regular maintenance and safety inspections. We overcame workers' resistance to fall arrest systems by asking for feedback from the employees as to what they would like to see in the systems and implementing those, as many of those procedures as possible, thereby enabling them to work more safely and more comfortably at heights.